Hi guys, it's Marky. How's it going? I got a bunch of Hot Wheels here to show you. Let's start with this one, the Hot Wheels Super Rigs. I found this one at uh, Florida. I'm sorry, <laughs> Family Dollar. That's what it was. Family Dollar. This cost about eight dollars, and it's called the District Transport. Let's get him out. Oh, cool. Comes with a car and the rig. It's connected already. Super rigs, Hot Wheels Super rigs. Now this thing is pretty big. Pretty big piece. And here's a car, Hot Wheels car. Compared to an old, an older Hot Wheels car. Let's see. It's about this. Yeah, it's just a normal Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels car. Of course, this is a small Porsche. And here's like a bigger. The bigger Hot Wheels right here. So it's just a normal Hot Wheels. The Sky Dome, copyright 2016 Mattel, made in Thailand. Pretty cool. This one has a metal base, plastic uh, body, and the Sky Dome opens up. Pretty cool. You can lift the dome. Has a couple of big uh, bucket seats in die cast or made of die cast die cast metal and we do have a left side driver with a little console in the middle with a gear shifter pretty cool fantasy car it has the uh big big wheels in the back and much smaller ones in the front red chrome in the front wheel black chrome in the back with the uh, big orange tires and the car itself is orange and green and does have that see-through dome pretty cool i'm gonna spin it around a little bit see it has kind of like a hot wheels logo on there and that's what attracted me to this uh, set because i love the trucks when they have the hot wheels logo on them this one definitely has the hot wheels logo on the back here right on the bed there on the side of the bed and on part of the cab number 68 for the year hot wheels hit the shelves for the first time 1968 and this one has some really nice wheels Let's see how he looks when he carries the car back there. Pretty nice. There it is. Now let's see if there's any features on, on the cab. And how do these connect? Looks like maybe it's just pressure. You push it in there. And do any of these parts move? Looks like it's a two-piece bed oh wow look at this oh cool you can put a bit a wider vehicle in there if you want to that's pretty cool let's see i got a wider vehicle right here oh it's not really much wider all right that's not that's not gonna work for that one so what is this feature just just to put a bigger wider vehicle i guess Pretty interesting. Trying to see if there's anything else that moves. Doesn't look like anything else moves. This piece here is all die cast. And it says District Transport, copyright 2020 Motel, made in Thailand. So this was new for 2021, I would say. If it's copyrighted 2020. Uh, this part, it says District Transport, copyright 2020 as well. Made in Thailand. Pretty cool, it does roll really nice. And again, this one's from Family Dollar. If they have the Family Dollar in your area. And this is this comes from a set, uh, a pretty big set actually. It comes with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, rigs in total. You have the Hall Turation, which brings a little robot car, which is a man stands up or lays down. This is the one I got, the District Transport. The pencil pusher is really cool, and I was really tempted to get it because this one in person, it looks really nice, bright green. The cab is really cool, and it comes with a chrome bus, a chrome school bus. So that might be the next one I get when I go back to that store. Rumble Road, and then Hot Wheels Park and Play because you park the rig. It has like what looks like music stuff on it, on the sides, the graphics, like speakers and whatever. So you park it, and then you play some music. 
and the fossil freight which carries a, a dinosaur car on the back there pretty neat okay so let me see i didn't read this at all so i don't know anything about the feature so i wasn't really prepared <laughs> detachable trailer that's all it says there it looks like a lot of different languages is your language on there drop a comment let me know it says copyright 2020 here so 2021 it's probably when it came out last year and still hanging around at family dollar now in 2022 we're in the second month of 2022 february and let's see i also picked up this one here's another rig but this one's hot wheels track star series and this one comes from dollar general which is a totally different store family dollar dollar general now those are eight dollars and this one was it was about seven dollars and change and it shows back here one of the other ones that i saw there i didn't buy this one i got this one's called the custom volkswagen hauler and this one has a copyright of 2019 so this one probably was probably uh first out in the stores two years ago and i have seen this one a couple times and passed it up so i finally got it because now there's not many Hot Wheels out there to buy. So I did get this one. We've been having a shortage of uh, Hot Wheels, regular main lines, and the premiums. All of them have been hard, hard to find. This is pretty cool. Custom Volkswagen. And you see inside here, they have like a whole, a whole uh, home in there. It's like a dining table. Got the dining uh, nook there. And you have the sink. And over here, probably a fridge and a couple other things. And like a little toy car there, a little toy Volkswagen. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so you can cook and eat. And there's probably a bed that folds out or something. A big bench seat over here with a left side driver in the in the cab. The color is kind of like a cream and then like a, like a light brown. The badge in the middle is, says Volkswagen. Looks like it might be die-cast. It's kind of cool. Let's get a little closer on this uh, Volkswagen cab. That You would see this coming at you. You think it's a little T1 panel or uh, or one of those, uh, what is it, 21 windows or whatever, the Volkswagens? And then as it passes you by, you see all this behind it. <laughs> Pretty cool. This is simulating like the 21 window or... And that would be the front right there. And then they just added this cab. Pretty cool. So next to a car, a Hot Wheels car, it's still, this is still big, but not as big as this other rig. So if we put this rig next to it, let's turn it around. You see that one is much bigger and the cab is like much bigger. And you see that, let's see another Hot Wheels here like a vintage Hot Wheels, little vintage Hot Wheels right there, 300ZX, and let's see one of these uh, little Miatas, what it look like, so there's your comparison for size on all these, now I did pick up another rig, oh by the way let's compare this one to one of my older, older rigs which is this one here, Hot Wheels, very big Mac, McDonald's truck, Copyright 1996 Mattel. Very cool. The box is all plastic, but this is all metal. This is all metal here. And we do have a plastic base down here. These are plastic. All oh, this is die cast metal. Very Big Mac Hot Wheels truck. Check it out. Looks pretty big next to that little... Uh, it makes this little Volkswagen rig a little look smaller, but... Uh, they're about the same size if you put them side by side. This one's much bigger. This one back here. Now, I don't think this one, it looks pretty cool. Like a little bigger, so it looks a little more acceptable. But I'm not, I don't think that's a true 164. But uh, it looks pretty good. I do have some 164s here that I can, I can uh, put next to these just to, just to compare. 
But here's a small Hot Wheels right next to that one. If you're really into like knowing the scales and that kind of thing. But let's go ahead and open up another one that I bought. This one is also from Dollar General from the Trackstar series. And I love it because it has that Hot Wheels flames on the side. Really cool. A nice purple color on this rig. Let's see if I can get them out. A little tight in there. This one has the same backing card as the other one. It's a Volkswagen. There's the Hot Wheels logo right there. Very beautiful. Looks awesome <laughs> with the purple and uh, the blue color there, the flames in white. Looks really cool. And here it says Speed Blaster. Is that the name of the vehicle? Oh, wow. This is all metal on the base and this side too. Both sides are metal. Copyright 2014 on this vehicle. Made in Malaysia. And over here, same thing. 2014, Made in Malaysia. Hot Wheels logo, but no name for the rig itself. So what goes on here? We do have something here. Can you pull this out? Oh yeah, look at this. We have a little ramp that we can pull all the way out to help the cars uh, get up there. Let's see. Can you get this Miata up there? Nice, and it has a little things there to hold it in place for the wheel, for the tire right there. Sweet, that is pretty nice. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. So for those of you who like to transport your vehicles, this will work. And then you just put the ramp back in, push it back in there, and off you go. Oh, that is fun. Pretty cool. Pretty cool Hot Wheels. This one has the chrome orange... Uh, stripe on the wheels and they are blacked out towards the middle i like that they have the metal base on both uh, sides and then the bodies are plastic and these rigs or on this rig this particular rig they're all different the way they make each one it does have a plastic engine back here some orange glass on it and it has this little piece here so the car won't slide off that's pretty cool so let me see, how many cars can you fit in here? Just one, just the one. Has space for a longer car, so you can have a longer car fit in here. Let me see, I don't know if this truck will fit in here. No, maybe this way. No, it's too wide. Oh, this comes down, so it kind of like holds it back. Let's see, what else? Do I have any other cars here? Oh, I think this might be the longest car I have on my desk right now, but. This one fits, goes all the way in, but it's not that long, so that one fits. This one fits good. Porsche probably fits very well. Yeah, looks like it fits well. Very, very cool. These are pretty fun, little fun trucks. This fits up there. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. To compare the size, I do have... One of my highway haulers, this one is the Happy Meals McDonald's truck. Really cool. And let's compare him next to this one. You can see the highway hauler has a much bigger cab. And then on the other one, the uh, Super Rig. Has a bigger cab than the than the highway hauler, and you see it does have two seats in there, with a driver's uh, steering wheel on the left. Our right right now, but it's left, left side driver. Pretty neat. You see, it's bigger than the highway hauler. How about this one? This one's one of the big ones. This one's a Thunder Roller. Yeah, a lot of people love this uh, truck, the Thunder Roller. It's really heavy, a lot of die casts. Strange that the base is plastic, but all this on top is die cast. Very heavy. Very heavy. The Thunder Roller. So, the Thunder Roller, let's see how he looks. Still not as tall as the other one, as the new. I think it's a little. Let's see, side by side. Just. 
Just about the same size, just a little shorter, I think. Yeah, it looks like maybe he's a little shorter. Well, this is pretty cool, pretty cool. The super rigs. I'm liking this. I might get that green one. I really like the green one, too. I might get that one eventually. And I know where to find it at the Family Dollar. And if you like these other ones, remember, these are Dollar General. These other two that are back here from Dollar General. Now, I do have a big 164 around here that I can grab and show you. This one, I slid it out of the package, but I never did. It is a Hot Wheels. Let me show you the box. This one is a Hot Wheels. Here's the box. I just slid it out. Hot Wheels. It's from Walt Disney World. And it's a Peterbilt. Hot Wheels. Uh, they sell these at the Disney parks. I bought this one a while back. And uh, right there you see it says authentic, authentic, original Disney parks. Right there. And it says Peterbilt something on here. Copyright on this one is 2008. And it's uh, 164, I believe. Because I have other ones that they're about this size. So Hot Wheels next to this one looks more like real life right there. Like a real life trailer would be this size. And that's what's pretty cool about knowing the scales. If you want to like make something look more accurate, get a big rig that's a 164 size because this one doesn't look realistic next to a Hot Wheels. See how much smaller it is. I mean, if this is supposed to be a big, kind of like a big rig, this one's not really, it's more like a box truck. So maybe it could be smaller, but I don't know. It just looks really, really small. Especially the highway hauler, kind of looks way too small next to a regular size Hot Wheels. And you can see if it's a truck, look how much, how different it looks next to a real, real uh, rig that would be 164. But this is a pretty cool, isn't it? This is a pretty cool um, rig right here. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Very, very cool. All right, let me see, I have, this one also, by the way, it opens up that back here. You can put a few cars in there. It's just empty. It does have like the Disney stuff on the side. And uh, let me see, what else do we have? I have another one that's, uh, another one that's a uh, Hot Wheels big rig right here, which is a Kiss. Rock Band Kiss, and it has like Kiss on the side here, the cover of their album Destroyer, and uh, pretty neat. This one says copyright 2011 Mattel, and I've never opened this one, but it's the same size, a bigger, bigger size. If we compare the highway hauler again, this would be way small next to this uh, this big rig by Hot Wheels. And then I have, let me see, what else do I have? Oh, this one I got, man, time flies. I got this one 2020, feels like yesterday, but it was 2020, so two years ago. And it's another one that I found at uh, Disney Parks. They were having a sale. And they had these down, marked down from $25 to $12. They were half price. I got this one. And I also got this one at half price. They were having a sale for the Matchbox uh, toys that they sell at the Disney Parks. This was at, uh, I, think at I think I got this one at Epcot. But I had seen it at Magic Kingdom as well. It's very heavy, all die cast. And the base is uh, plastic, but the, man, all this is die cast. It's very, very heavy, super heavy. And this one is a matchbox. There's a regular price, uh, $14.99. And, okay, I'm sorry, I got this one at half price, so somewhere around $7. And 
pretty cool trucks. So let's compare. So I got some, so I got these right here. I got an Albertsons. This one is also like the same size as this one. And then when we compare the Thunder Roller next to the Highway Hauler, there's a big difference. But pretty cool Hot Wheels to have in your collection. And let's see, what else do I have? Here is a carded Highway Hauler from Hot Wheels Delivery Series, which is a really cool series. It has some really nice vehicles in it. There it is, Highway Hauler. This one has real riders and metal and metal, so it's even heavier because the base is all metal. This one has a plastic base. And it has the rubber tires. You can see it has the uh, rubber tires. They're much thicker, much heavier Hot Wheels right there. But pretty cool. And I love it with the Hot Wheels logo on the side of the truck there with the original colors in orange and red with the white and the black. Kind of reminds you of the old Hot Wheels cards, the vintage ones. Hot Wheels. Hottest metal cars in the world that was a slogan they had by mattel that's pretty cool and there you go again it does have the plastic box though on on the back here but look at that all the details painted in pretty nice highway hauler with metal base and look at that this one instead of red lines it has orange lines on the wheels on the tires and really nice wheels, by the way. Very cool. Authorized distributor. <laughs> this was a really cool series, but there's no pictures. But you can see there was... Here are some of the ones you could find. The Highway Hauler, Ford Anglia Panel, the Volkswagen Deluxe, 56 Ford, and the cool one. I might have all of those. Here's another one that came out on the blue cards. And I never opened this one. I do like it. It has the Hot Wheels logo on the side with the finest quality or highest quality. I'm sorry. It has what looks like a Treasure Hunt logo there. So I can't remember if this was a Treasure Hunt. It might be. But it has the flames in the circle. Uh, performance parts established 1968. Southern California. 24 hours and Delivery Express. Another really cool highway hauler. All blacked out in the back. Plastic chrome base, plastic wheels with the uh, chrome five double spokes. Wow, you can see the glass is a little bit messed up. I never noticed that before, or did it fall off with time? Hot Wheels City Works. This one I've had for a while. As you can see, it's a 2009 highway hauler on the card there. Yeah, this is a pretty cool Hot Wheels from back 2009. It was born in 1991, Segundo, California. Pretty cool. Highway hauler from 2009. Look at that. Pretty neat. So here I have a couple of these. This one, this one. I have the orange one. And I have my McDonald's Happy Meal highway hauler right there. Let's see how they look all together here. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Bunch of trucks in this video. I got a bunch of cars here because I was uh, wanted to show them side by side with a new car that I got, this new car. And these are the three new trucks. Let me put this one, the old ones in the back. Here are the new rigs that I got. To add to my fleet of uh, kind of like uh, Hot Wheels rigs, because most of them that I get have the Hot Wheels theme on it. This one has the Hot Wheels theme, which I got not too long ago, and I was showing this one. This one comes also from the same store that had this one, uh, Dollar General. This one's Family Dollar again. This one is also from Dollar General. And this is the one that opens on the side, and you can. Uh, put a car in there if you want to. There you go. And you close.
close it up. Each side opens, both sides open. You can have both sides open at once or close them down. I do like this rig a lot. It's pretty nice. This one, it's like one of my favorites of the last ones I bought with that box in the back. Does it have the name on there? It's a Mercedes-Benz Actros or Actros. Actros. Pretty neat. Pretty neat little rig. I like this one a lot. And another one that I bought probably last year or a year before is this one from the X Racer series. Also has that feature, the Hot Wheels logos, and it has a feature where it opens the box. And again, they both open, see both sides. You can close this one for whatever. And you know, the X Racer series has all the X Ray Vision on there, <laughs> on there, or for the for the vehicles in the series. This one's called the Speed. Speed haul, speed hauler. Yeah, speed hauler. There it is. Speed hauler. 1968. Got a bunch of these trucks now. Collection is growing. But I want to see how this one looks next to it. Almost the same size on this one. Look at that. This one's a little bigger, just a little bit. And let me see, I have a bigger truck over here, I just noticed. I have this Cheetos truck I happen to have on my desk here. This one is made by Majorette. Cheetos, Chester the Cheetah. It's not easy being cheesy. <laughs> this is a pretty cool vehicle. It's really nice looking. Can you make out what it is? Is it a Chevy or a Ford? Got the opening tailgate back here, which is pretty nice. Metal bumper, metal base, metal body. A lot of details on this one. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't fit. So this is uh, an occasion where we got to widen the back here. And then we can adjust to size, tighten him up in there so he won't move. There we go. We can transport that Cheeto. It looks like a blazer or... A Bronco. That's pretty cool. Look at that. He won't even move because he's locked in there. And I can get him out. I only needed a little bit of widening, but that's a great feature. So I wouldn't be able to carry this one unless it opened up a little bit. It would be like crooked like that. So that's a pretty cool feature to have. Or when you're playing with your uh, Hot Wheels, you want to be able to fit the uh, truck in there. And I was going to compare this one. I had bought this pickup truck out just to compare with, with uh, some of these and see what he looked like. This one is a pretty cool Hot Wheels. Made in Malaysia, the Ford F-150, 1997 Ford F-150. With a full chrome bed in there and plastic chrome. All die cast metal on top and plastic base, plastic bumpers, plastic grill. A pretty cool Ford F-150. Check it out. Hot Wheels license plate on the back. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And what else do I have here? I have, oh, let me show you the 300 again, the Nissan. Happen to have it here. And it uh, looks really good. Can open the doors. Pretty neat. This Nissan is so nice. Nissan 300ZX. And um, with opening doors, there's something about this. Somebody had told me about this. One of you guys out there told me about the uh, mold being bought from somewhere else. And that's why they, they had some of these uh, with opening doors. Some Hot Wheels because they had bought the molds from some other company. I think something like that, something, something, uh, something comes to mind when I'm looking at it that someone was telling me, one of you guys was telling me on the uh, chat about that 300. It's probably quirky or, I'm not sure. This is another nice one. Here's a Hot Wheels 1969. It says they're copyright Malaysia. An old one looks pretty cool. 
Nice stripes on the side, almost like lightning bolts. Very cool. Let's see how he fits up there. It fits right in. And I showed you this Miata. I just had brought it out. This one I brought out just to compare the sizes. And I have this little Porsche that I've been using as a size comparison here. Cool 930. This one is Mattel 1989, Malaysia. Metal base, metal body. No mirrors on the side. Nice graphics on the sides there. Beautiful tampo work. Here's a Mercedes Benz. Look at this. Two doors. This one's a little beat up. I got this one at the flea market. Little beat up. Mercedes Benz SLK. Copyright 1997. But look. India. You don't get a lot of Hot Wheels from India that are marked India. It's pretty cool. Metal base, metal body. Light interior. Mercedes Benz marked India. That's pretty, pretty interesting. I got this one here. Metallic green color, left side driver, gold wheels. Malaysia, nineteen ninety two. Bunch of interesting cars here today. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed checking out my new rigs. Got a traffic jam going on here. <laughs> My new rigs that I've just added to the collection, which is this one right here. already forgot the name of it. And this one. And this one over here. I know this one's a custom Volkswagen. The Speed Blaster back there, is it? And the District Transport. This one is the District... Uh, I'm sorry, District... <laughs> District Transport. Oh, man. Tongue twisters. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you in the next episode.